have to remember, no matter how long we were apart, at the end of every day, we'll still say goodnight to Mommy Star and do the secret handshake just like always. Hi, Scott. The FBI guy said I could come in. Oh, Lord. What a beautiful child. I keep asking the FBI guys, what about the kids that come back? Are they the same? You're gonna get it back. And we'll make up for everything she's been through. How do you know that my kid's trust hasn't been stolen from her? Huh? Who's gonna, who's gonna guarantee me that? Come on, don't torture yourself like that. God, we got a week and a half before the drop. Yeah, and what am I supposed to do for that week? Sit around here playing canasta? I'm sorry. It's all right. You just concentrate on getting Serena back. Uh, you don't borrow trouble, you know. I, I appreciate you coming by, but you know, I, I have a... I just... I want to be alone. I thought that's the last thing you'd want to be. I do, Dad. All right. You will call us if you hear anything, won't you? Of course, you know I will. I know I can, I know I can. I have to. For Serena, I can do this. Hello? Yeah, uh, Lucy, it's me. What are you doing calling me on the phone? Uh, I figured out a way to disconnect the tap. I'll, I'll hook it back up after we're through. Well, what is it? Has something happened? No, no, I, I, I just want to make sure that uh, you make that drop without anybody seeing you. How many times have you told me that Scott stopped? Listen to me now. Don't go soft on me. You, you got to remain like a block of ice. What? No melting. You got to stay cool. I'm a block of ice. I'm cold as ice. I'm not melting. I'm cool. Just remember what this psychopath said. If anybody finds out that we're paying him, he is going to hurt Serena. Would you stop it. Do you think I can forget that? Every time somebody asks me something, I, I bite their head off. You know what? I, I just feel like I want to throw up. I feel like I'm going to pass out. And then I've been ignoring Kevin completely, which I hate. I'm just afraid he's going to read my mind. Just calm down. Okay? Breathe. Just breathe. Wait a minute. Don't tell me what to do. Tell me. You can do this. Okay. I can do this. I am ice. I am cold. I'm not melting. Now, now let me, before you go, uh, I want to tell you something. Uh, I asked you for help for, for a reason. I trust you. Lucy, I trust you completely. And that's the reason why I called you. This is the second time that you have put Serena's life in my hands, Scott. And I swear to you, I, I'm not going to let either one of you down, okay? Oh, my gosh, I, I hear somebody. Somebody's here. <sighs> Doc, you scared me to death. Lucy, calm down. You shouldn't sneak up on somebody like that. You almost gave me a heart attack. Lucy, what's gotten you so upset? Who was just on the phone? Oh, that. Uh... That was just a guy from, from the AIDS Project. Uh, you know, he was congratulating me on um, all the money we're going to raise tonight. And this upset you? Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a lot of pressure. You know, well, it, it did be because, you know, we haven't had a chance to count the pledges or anything. We have no idea how much money we're going to bring in. I don't want him to be disappointed Lucy, or anything. Lucy, Lucy, please, calm down. I'm calm. Lucy. What? Well, it's time for your next costume change. Don't touch that. Why not? I want you to take that dress and I use that term loosely, quickly. Get it out of my sight before it contaminates the rest of my wardrobe. Is that... Shh! But Lucy... I mean it, Don. I can't even listen to this. This is so creepy. Listening to people eavesdropping on their conversations? Yeah, I just want this to be over. Well, so do I. When? Well, that depends on how well you do your job. Speaking of which, it's time. Are you up to it? Good girl. My acting coach could see me now. The role of a lifetime. 
Well, don't knock it. This will be the most important role you'll ever have, not to mention the highest pain. any idea at all what it's like to be Lucy Co. the night of the nurse's ball I'm the chairperson do you know what that means that means the success or the failure of the entire evening rests entirely on these shoulders so what do you want do you want me to wear a dress that weighs 500 pounds weighing down on my shoulders I don't think so Don look at this look at this dress what does it look like to you it's covered in prizes from a gumball machine I hate this dress it's a disgrace get it out of my face uh, uh, Lucy what Yesterday, you loved this dress, remember? You, you said out of all of them, this was your favorite. Well, yesterday, I was crazy. Today, I'm a block of ice. Give me that dress! Hormones. Do you realize that you have almost destroyed my life? How did I do that? Oh, you don't remember barging into Joe Scanlon's hearing? Letting it be known that you were gearing up for a lawsuit? Did it occur to you that every eye was on me? The person you hoodwinked into helping you out? Eve, listen. You're the reason that no one even bothered to acknowledge my existence tonight at the nurse's ball. It was like I wasn't even there. No hello, no drop dead, not even a pack your bags, you'll never work in this town again. Nothing. Want a drink? Excuse me? A drink? I think you could use one. Oh, is that next on your agenda? Getting me into trouble? Fine, suit yourself. Listen, mister, I don't appreciate this cavalier attitude of yours, especially when it comes to my career. Do you have any idea what medical school is like? Look, I'm not responsible for all your problems. Now, do you want a drink or just come over here to kick somebody in the shins? Oh, not anybody's shins. I came here looking for yours. Well, you're too late, because I've already been worked over by the experts. If you're referring to that bogus kidnapping story of yours, you won't get any sympathy from me. Wait, what, what did you say? Oh, come on. Obviously, it was a scam to get me to treat you here. Now, who would lie about their child being kidnapped? Save the sob story. I just ran into your supposedly grieving friend Lucy at the nurse's ball. It looked to me like she didn't have a care in the world. Look at this. Look at this. Look at her face. Would I, would I lie about her life? Nice picture. Did it come with the frame? Yeah. Just like this. Money came with a bag. That's a lot of money. Is it real? Yeah, it's real. It's the ransom for my daughter, who's also real. I don't know what came over me. I, I had a kind of a rough night. I mean, obviously, it's nothing compared to what you're going through. I owe you an apology. Forget it. If you don't want to be alone, I could stay for one drink, if you're still offering. Is whiskey OK? More than OK. I need your opinion. Okay, what do you think? Do you like this one better or this one better? Which, which? For all I care, you can go out there in nothing but a pair of spurs. Oh, dear. Dear, dear me. You know, I guess I must have taken that diva thing just a tad bit too far. Just a little. <sighs> but I also understand. Because you're exhausted and a little girl that you love very much has been kidnapped. Doc, I don't, I don't want to go through that again, okay? Let's not. I wish you hadn't taken on the nurse's ball this year, Lucy. You're not yourself. I am myself. The self that feels the nurse's ball is one of the most important things in my life. Doc, come on. There's a lot of great people out there, and they deserve to have a wonderful show, and I'm going to give it to them. And I'm not going to stop just because of some situation I can't control. And don't worry, okay? I'm not insensitive to Serena's situation, and I'm, I'm not being irresponsible about my health, okay? 
I just need to do this. It is so very important to me. I know. It's one of the many things I love about you. I love you, too. So much. And no matter what happens, please don't forget that, okay? Okay. Okay. I'll see you out. Yeah. Carmen, we need to get a few things straightened out between us. Oh, I know the drill. You give the orders, we take notes. Did I get it right? I was under the impression you want to be a doctor. But don't play with me. You know that's what I want. In this hospital, if you want to achieve your goal, you play by the rules. You no, know, I don't mind playing by the rules. When I'm on duty, when I'm off duty, it's different. I don't let it go when people are rude. That's for you. Hey, gorgeous. <laughs> hey, Chris. Oh, Ellen, um, I thought you went home hours ago. I actually am due on stage at the nurse's ball, so Matt volunteered to drop uh, tomorrow's schedule on your desk. I got it. Oh, damn it. Here, let me help you. These are, um, Dr. Fox things. You must miss him terribly. I got a call from his mother. She asked for his things. It's okay. You're allowed to miss your best friend. <sighs> you know, someday that little mouth of yours is going to get you fired. Right. Look, you don't have to do the job exactly the way that he did. I know that. Ellen, we all know how badly you wanted to be chief resident. And when David was chosen over you, you handled it with dignity. I was genuinely happy for him. I know that. And we were genuinely happy for you when you became chief resident. But it's time to stop feeling guilty for taking David's place. It's not your fault that he was murdered and you're still here. It'd just be easier on you and everyone else if you just relax. Be yourself. Dr. David Falk, Chief Resident. It's a nice pen. I gave it to him as a gift. The day he was given the job. I think you should keep it. He'd want you to have it. I gotta go. So, do you want to talk? No, I don't want to talk. Why don't you tell me about yourself? Well, thanks to you, the chief resident and I have the most disastrous relationship of all the interns. And that's quite an accomplishment. You should see how she treats the other interns. You should have seen the look on her face when she found out it was me that brought the wheelchair into your room. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Did I ever get around to telling you that I was sorry? Eve? Huh? Um, you know what? It must be late. I yeah. Think Wow, I, I bet a person could live for months on one of those packs of cash. Probably. Wow. But I would give ten times that if I could just get my little daughter's arms around my neck again. Good luck. I'll be praying for both of you. Thank you. I'm cold as ice. <laughs> Who am I kidding? 